this is Eva with Eva LaVey Arts and today I am taking part in a hashtag event with the Creative Arts Collaboration which is a huge group of over 300 artists that will be uh, taking part in this virtual YouTube um, art festival. If you'd like some more information I'll have all the details in the description below. Uh, but the theme this month is animals, and so the hashtag is hashtag Poggist Art. And today I'm going to be working on a painting. This is a gesso board that I am covering up with gesso right now. And it's taking this graphite aquarelle uh, by Faber-Castell pencil. It's an HB, so it's really light. You won't be able to most likely see much of what I'm doing right here, but you'll just have to trust me. Um, I'm drawing a zebra. I found this image online, and I'll put the link uh, to that below. Um, yeah. I'll go ahead and skip to the music now, and I'll come in and out whenever I see something that I think you might want to know. Okay, now that I have my zebra all penciled in, I'm going to go ahead and take some golden fluid acrylic in carbon black and a small uh, angled brush and start filling this in. If you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll go ahead and click on that button down there while you're at it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see today. There you can see the phone with the image that I'm using as a guide here. Uh, I was having trouble actually keeping it <laughs> right side up. It kept wanting to fall over. Um, but yeah, so when I'm doing this, I'm not trying to be exact with my copy, um, but it is a good guide since, you know, I don't actually see zebras on a day-to-day -day basis, so I can't tell you what those stripes are supposed to look like um, off the top of my head. So it's very helpful to be able to uh, have an image like this when, when you're painting or drawing that you can use uh, as a guide. this day I had never painted a zebra face before so I was really nervous about it because uh, I 
wanted it to come out, you know, halfway decent. And, um, yeah, I was pretty happy with the way it came out. Uh, I just needed to try. And I think that's kind of a great rule to follow in art is just go ahead and give it a try. And right here you'll see my first oopsie. What I did was I took the painting and I held it in front of a mirror because the eye just really didn't look right to me. And um, it's very helpful if you will take your uh, painting or drawing or piece of artwork and hold it in front of a mirror. For some reason, looking at it that way uh, helps you to see inconsistencies or oddities or errors or what have you. Um, and so I'm just taking some gesso and I'm going over this eye so that I can replace it uh, a little bit higher than I had the first time. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is taking some artist tape and creating a mask all around the zebra. Um, no surprise if you saw the uh, thumbnail to my video, then you know there's lots of color in this zebra. So I wanted to make sure I kept the background uh, as white as possible while I'm doing this next portion of the painting. So I'm just tearing off small sections so I can try to get as uh, close a line as I can to the zebra. And oh, there was another oopsie I forgot to put in here, but um, I had smeared some of that paint and so I went in with some gesso and fixed it on its head and I'm just drying it here. Um, but then I also take some paper here in a second and I'll go ahead and lay that out um, as well so I can just protect that white background as much as possible because I'm going to be doing some splattering. We all love splattering, don't we? Uh, but yes, I am wanting to protect this as much as possible. So I'm taking some uh, Dilutions paint in red and my fan brush and just watering it down a little bit and then splattering it all over the place. And then I also needed some bigger splatters so I took a mop brush and wet that down and then added some splatters that way as well. So um, I used the post box red and then I went in with um, whatever the pink, why can't I think of the pink color right now? Well, the bright pink color. I'll go in and have all of the names of the paints in the description below, so um, just giving that a quick dry in between each paint color. But um, basically just going to be going and doing the same process through the rainbow of colors uh, that I have of Dilutions paint. this video up quite a bit. Um, according to iMovie, this was uh, 1,200 times uh, the original rate, so this took me about a little over two hours start to finish for this project in real time, um, but I certainly was going to make you sit through all of that, so yeah. 
just for those of you that were curious. After I used all my dilutions paints, I went in here with some um, golden paints. Out there was a what was it? A pearl red, pyrrole red? How do you say it? I don't even know how you say it. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, uh, primary magenta, I believe, was the other one. Oh, and here's another oopsie. Yeah, I pulled out the paper, and there had been some bleeding, so I took the gesso here and covering that up. Because if you ever make a zebra bleed, then you definitely want to cover that up. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm going to have PETA all over me now. Okay, so next I'm going to be going back over my black lines with the golden fluid acrylic in carbon black again and just making that uh, those black lines stand out. Um, I just needed some more contrast after I covered them up with all that splatter. So this will definitely help. funny now that I am looking at this again um, I noticed that I actually didn't color in one of those little black lines on the face so I'm gonna have to go back in there and do that because it's just gonna bother me if I don't <laughs> project for this hashtag August Art event. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's really fun and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, I hope that you will uh, check out the description below for more details about the event so you can go and check out a lot more artists that are participating. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.